so I thought I'd talk about a few new goodies I picked up. I've really been slowing down picking up new products, which is really good for my wallet, especially since I need it since I uh, screwed up the boat propeller yesterday. I talked about it a little bit in video, so it's going to be like a little bit of money to fix it. So anyway, so since I screwed that up, I'm going to buy even less stuff. But I got did pick up a few new goodies. Uh, actually, Paula's Choice came out with this, what they call a phytoestrogen elasticity renewal serum. Uh, it's just released on uh, Paula's Choice website, uh, I think, like this week. I picked it up a couple weeks ago. Nordstrom had it early, so I picked it up then because I'm addicted to trying new things. So I thought I'd pick it up. And it's interesting. They're basing this uh, product off of a research study, which I, I'll, I'll link to below, that shows estrogen loss in your skin can age your skin fast. So this product contains uh, three ingredients that are meant to boost the estrogen in your skin and help prevent the aging process so I, I've been testing it for a little bit now so now certainly not long enough to decipher if it's made a difference and based on what they say you need 12 to 20 weeks to really test it out to see its full potential so what's that that's like four months this won't last four months I don't think it'll probably last maybe two months but anyway it's nice it has no fragrance to it um, uh, although before you start using it, do some research on it because there's just, there's a lot of things going on with this, especially with the soy ingredients. So just do your due diligence. I, I always say, just don't trust any brand implicitly ever because all these brands have made mistakes at some point, especially some of the big ones such as Neutrogena. So just trust, but verify, do your research on it. So anyway, I, if you guys want me to, I can do a full uh, review of it. But anyway, I just thought I'd mention it because it's kind of a new product from them. Uh, I will say the most exciting new product that came out recently was the Peach and Lily Peptide Pro Moisturizer. I was through the moon once I saw this. I'm like, I have to have it. I love Peach and Lily and I love peptides and I love moisturizers and even more, I love that it has no scent. Uh, it really has a nice, wonderful texture to it and uh, contains some good peptides in here which give it its uh, light blue shade so this one I don't even have to ask I will do a full review of it after I've had uh, a few more weeks to test it out but it really is uh, quite lovely from Peach and Lily uh, let me see if I can find the highlighted I, although the jar packaging I'm not too crazy about of course but uh, the main exciting ingredients in here uh, algae I've got apricot eggplant which is really good for your skin ginseng I'm a big fan of ginseng uh, although I will say, I just noticed this. It does have bergamot fruit oil at the end of the ingredient list. I didn't notice the scent in this at all when I was testing it. So, um, and you know, when I, I always kind of scan the ingredient list before I buy something. So uh, I didn't notice that. But anyway, at least the scent isn't noticeable. Uh, then we've got hyaluronic acid, squalane, uh, things like that in here. Turmeric, which is also wonderful. Aloe and things like that. So I'm really enjoying this. Um, and I just didn't notice the scent at all. So, but so far, so good. Really enjoying it. So I'll definitely do a full review of it because I just really like Peach and Lily. Usually they hit it out of the park with their goodies. So, um, okay, next up, this product I actually picked up because of a video I did uh, last week uh, that were about uh, stem cell epidermal growth factor products relating to Skin Medica and different ones I was talking about. And a lot of you guys mentioned this, Brad Suticles brand, which actually is a pretty affordable uh, product, which uses what are they called? The Machismal Stem Cell uh, Condition Media, as well as some other good ingredients magnesium, ascorbyl phosphate, vitamin C derivative, uh, panthenol, uh, peptide, uh, DMA, so DMAE. And it's uh, so far I'm enjoying it. I haven't had that long to try, but. Uh, so far, the results for me seem similar to uh, the benefits I get from using the Skin Medica. And this, I think, was $40 compared to the Skin Medica, which is like $265. So I'll definitely continue to test this one out because so far, I'm really, really liking the results. And I think it's doing pretty good compared to what I've tested with Skin Medica. And for like one fourth of the price or even less or something I'm not that good at math but anyway so yeah so thank you guys for recommending it I just you know what I get I hear always some good recommendations from you uh, so I would never have heard of this brand if it weren't for you guys and the same thing with uh, the Joy Cellul Cellul uh, products which also have uh, epidermal growth factors in it if it weren't for you guys I've never ever, ever heard of these and probably still would have no clue and probably be still addicted to my $265 uh, ridiculous serum so Okay, next up I've got The Clog. I'm not sure what's going on with their Good Skin Days brand. They like released four products of it 
Then like half of them are out of stock and half of them have never come back into stock and now now they've got their the clog brand. So I have no idea what the heck's going on with it, but I did pick up a few of the products from the clog, which they released recently, and this stuff has to be the clearest winner, their snail mucin uh, energy essence. It is just wonderful. And uh, it feels so nicely hydrating on your skin. It feels just like, not just like, but very similar to the Casa Rex uh, Snail Essence, which is also really wonderful. And uh, it's pretty affordable and the bottle's gigantic too. So anyway, this one compared to, to this one, they're, yeah, they're very similar. So anyway, I should do a versus of these two after I've had a chance to test it more. So... Uh, the Clog also released an antioxidant cleansing oil. I've used this a couple times. I hated it. I hated it. Uh, if you're not sensitive to fragrances, perhaps you won't, bo bo won't bother you as much, but there's a lot of essential oils and citrus oils in this, which uh, after testing a couple times, I don't even want to go back to try it again because my skin hated it and I hated it. So but it's interesting how they can come up with such a loser and such a winner in the same release. And then kind of right there in the middle is the Mediocre uh, Pollution Jelly Shield Toner. It's got a thicker texture to it. So there you go. You can kind of see. It's very thick. It's not what I consider a toner. It's more of what I would consider a serum texture. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's somewhere in the middle. I'll keep testing it out and see. Lincoln needs water. Hang on. Very thirsty. No, you're good? Okay. It's hot out today, so got to keep the water going and I don't know I don't why give them that giant water bowl it's like this big it's all I fill it up twice a day with clean fresh water and they still want to drink out of the faucet it's annoying but whatever whatever they want they are gonna get so because they're spoiled so I don't anyway so that was about it for some new goodies that I've been testing out and playing with so uh Paula's Choice we're still figuring it out Peach and Lily so far loving it Brad Suticles amazing and the clog hit or miss so kind of like with most brands hit or miss so um anyway interested in hearing uh from you guys if you have any new goodies you've been testing out and if you have what they are and what you like or don't like about them so uh spread the word so we all know if it's worth it or not uh anyway so love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow thank you so much bye guys